about your health? Do you know about your body? Do you know what to do and how to do it health-wise? Can you live a healthy life? Can we have healthy children? This is not How do you determine the skin? How do you realize the skin that you're having, basically? Okay. Is the oily skin, the oiliness, if you're breaking out, if mm. your skin is tight. Mm. So basically there are different things or maybe conditions that will arise, okay. then that will make you begin to question. Like any woman, I want to look good. Okay. I want to look presentable. Okay. And as so I said, to me, the most important part is the body that God has given you, you should maintain. Well, skin care refers to the total nourishment of the skin, which otherwise will also extend to the body. Okay. And there are two aspects to it. You talk about health care and you can talk about cosmetic care. Skin care routine is, you know, basically determined by the skin type that you have. Okay. And the skin type that you have, whether it's dry, normal, oily, combination, sensitive, is dependent on many other factors like genetics. That means okay. if your parents have beautiful skin, yes, probability, it happens sometimes. So lots of diseases affect okay. the skin, but um, you could have medical conditions. You could have dry skin, which we call xerosis. So if you're someone who has dry skin, that can also okay. um, lead to infections and lead to cuts. Um, you could have any, any type of major illness, like the kidneys, the liver, if you have a liver failure, liver diseases, that can also affect your skin. Your skin is constantly protecting you. Your skin keeps infections out of your body and keeps you from getting sick. When you take care of your skin, you are helping your skin do its job. And taking care of your skin today will help prevent future problems like wrinkles and even skin cancer. One simple way to take care of your skin is to keep it clean. Keeping your hands clean is especially important because your hands can spread germs to the skin on other parts of your body. You'll also want to use water that's warm, not too hot, when you take a shower or bath. Use a gentle soap to clean your body. Don't forget under your arms and behind your ears. Your face needs attention, especially as you enter puberty and the skin on your face gets more oily. It's a good idea to wash your face once or twice daily with warm water and a mild cleanser. Welcome back. Just joining us on site is a cosmetology instructor from Elegant Twin School of Cosmetology. You're welcome, Esther Ugoro. Thank, Thank you for coming. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Now, question for you. Now, what is the difference between cosmetologists and a makeup artist? A cosmetologist is someone trained for the beautification of the face, okay. the skin, the hair, and nails. And also other aspects of beauty. Okay. But a makeup artist is someone trained for the beautification of the face alone. So okay. that's the difference. Now that's, that's also it's that, that's the same question too um, for Dr. Akinkumbe. Now, let's talk about the difference between a cosmetologist and, in, and a dermatologist. A dermatologist is a medical doctor who is trained in looking after the skin, okay. which includes the epidermis and the dermis. Of okay. course, the skin is made up of the hair, the nails, the sweat glands as well. So you deal you know, with the whole aspect, whereas, as she has rightly said, cosmetology is dealing with the beauty of, you know, uh, of the skin. Okay, so now the difference between a lady's skin a skin type and a makeup. So tell us more about this. Yeah. Lots of skin types. There's the normal skin, oily skin, 
aging skin. That is the, they're like, you have to basically take care of your skin and also in doing that, your makeup would determine the kind of, your skin type rather, would determine the kind of makeup you use because okay. a dry skin is flaky and really dry. Uh. If you use products that are dry, that's meaning they are oil, they are water-based. If you use products that are water-based on a dry skin, mm. it would not go well with it. So you have to get products that go with your skin type. Okay. Like if you had, for instance, a an oily skin, you need to use products that are water-based because okay. you can't put oil on oil. Okay. It will be too okay. much. Okay, now let's so. talk about the diseases that affect the skin, Dr. Akinkongwe. So lots of diseases affect okay. the skin, but um, you could have medical conditions. You could have dry skin, which we call xerosis. So if you're someone who has dry skin, that can also okay. um, lead to infections and lead to cuts. Um, you could have en any type of major illness like the kidneys, the liver, if you have a liver failure, liver diseases, that can also affect your skin. So can anyone be traced to um, the makeup you wear? Yeah, allergic. Oh, you, mean you, could, okay. you can have an allergy to some chemicals, some okay. um, components of the makeup. Definitely, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Now, which career opportunity or paths are available with respect to skin care? Okay, there's the esthetician. That's okay. basically the... The doctor has said that um, there are two, two layers of the skin. There is the dermis and the epidermis. They deal with both layers, but while cosmetologists deal with just the epidermis, okay. the artificial layer, what we can see. So you could do that skin care. You can, could be an esthetician. You could be a makeup artist. Okay. You could be a beauty editor. You could okay. teach in a cosmetology school. Great. So they are, the yeah. career paths are really wide okay. in the cosmetology profession. That's good. Thank you so much. Now, I'm sure I have one or two questions from studio audience. Please, if you have any questions, please signify. Okay, let me have your question, please. My name is Egudo Gerald. I am a representative of Southfield, College, Southfield Academy. My question is, what kind of treatment can you give to oily skin? Mm, okay. So, next question, please. My name is John Mondi from Omar Compressive College. My question is, what are the causes of pimple and causes the best of cure for pimple? And solutions, okay. Thank you very much. That's a very good question. My name is Akimala Aramde from Tombe College. My question is, what type of skin is commonly found among the teenagers of nowadays? Hmm. <laughs> My name is Bankole Fatia from Omar Comprehensive College. Please, how can you clear black spots in your face? Mm, that's a very good question. So thank you. My name is Shukro Yusuf. And my question is, what are the main causes of eczema and their solutions? Thank you. My name is Deborah Felicien from Tombe College. And my question is, what are the effects of bleaching creams to the body? Mm, the effects of bleaching cream. Now, a round of applause for those who have asked brilliant questions. Very brilliant. Now, over to you, my steam speakers. I'll start with the last question on bleaching creams. Okay. Um, lots of the contents of these creams are deleterious to the skin. So mm. it actually, you know, takes off the protective layers of the skin. Mm. It also um, makes you more prone to infections. And also, we, we live in an environment where in the tropics, so you have the effect of the ultraviolet rays from the sun also acting mm. on the skin. So bleaching creams are really quite dangerous for the skin. Okay. When they're used in excess, you can also have, um, you're prone to infections because you're taking mm. away the normal protective flora of the skin. skin. When used and absorbed as well, they can actually destroy your organs. Mm. So this is key for people to actually know that you know, they're deleterious. Okay, then there was another Just question um, about acne. And of course, yeah. for this our young audience, this is key and it's a very good question. You're going through hormonal issues as well. So there's a the hormonal aspect, but there are lots of other things that um, come into play. What is important is doing the right thing, looking after the skin, degreasing it, like she had, or the earlier speaker had mentioned. You have sebum being produced and you have the T-zone of the face. So you need to degrease the, the face. You need to cleanse it. You must stop squeezing these pimples. Mm. And we must not use a lot of 
you know, the creams and visit um, various places and get creams that are mixed up for you, you know. Acne is expected at this time and we need to take care of it. We need to take care of the bacteria that are implicated as well. So if, you, if, if you've tried a few over-the-counter mechanism um, treatment, maybe mom, dad has given you a few things and it hasn't gotten any better, then you need to see somebody who is qualified that can help you so that you don't pick, you don't scar. And coming to another question, you know, someone said the dark Last, spots. Yeah. So the more you pick, the more you have a scar. Mm. And when you do have these dark spots, first of all, with time, they will, you know, fade away. But, you know, you need to know how to look after the skin properly so that you are not, most people will now try and get the bleaching creams to so get rid of the it. scars. And that in itself is deleterious. It has to be, you know, done in conjunction with your doctor. And when you do have a lot of scars, then, you know, we now need to go into some cosmetic procedures, aesthetic procedures, to try and help the scars mm. look better and, you know, make your aesthetic, make, make you, um, let's take care of the post acne, which is also mm -hmm. part of the treatment. Okay. You know, you want to help look after the scars and take care of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, any contribution? Yes, I just want to say that as much as you try to take out these pimples and spots on your face, you should try as much as possible. Your personal hygiene too matters a lot. Hmm. You should try as much as possible. Have your bath regularly. Wash your face every night if you can't have your bath. And for our young ladies that are, well, they are too young to do makeup right now, <laughs> but they are still stealing their sister's or mom's <laughs> cosmetics, Try as much as possible to wash it off before going to bed. With time, it will pass. This is the age for acne for younger people. Mm. It comes out more at this age. So just work on it and you I'm get sure better. well answered questions. A round of applause for my speakers. Thank you. So, Dr. Akinku, we let's have your final word. Final words. Take care of the skin. Okay. Good food. Lots of um, vegetables, fruits. Lots of water. We're also in the tropics, mm. so we also have our skin being dried off, you know, because of the amount of sweat that we um, expire here. And lastly, if in doubt and you're having problems, don't try and solve them yourself. Look for a dermatologist so that, you know, the problem can be solved faster and not go all around the world and then end up with a dermatologist. Thank you very much. A round of applause for Dr. Akishinbe. <laughs> now over to you, Miss Esther. Okay, I really don't know how old Dr. is, but she really looks gorgeous. Radiant, yeah. And I want to I believe that you. she has been taking care of her skin for a long time. So my advice for our young people is start taking care of your skin. You are really young, so it's a good start right now. Mm. Start taking care of your skin. Have lots of water. Rest when you have to. Yes, there's time for everything, but rest when you have to. Exercise and eat right and be health-wise. Wow, thank you very much, Ms. Esther. Hello and welcome to another precaution segment of HealthWise Skin Care. Good skin care and healthy lifestyle choices can help delay the natural aging process and prevent various skin problems. Here are tips to protect your skin. Protect yourself from the sun. One of the most important ways to take care of your skin is to protect it from the sun. A lifetime of sun exposure can cause wrinkles, age spots and other skin problems. For the most complete sun protection, use sunscreen. Use a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 15. Apply sunscreen generously. Seek shade. Avoid the sun between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. when the sun's rays are strongest. Wear protective clothing. Cover your skin with tightly woven long sleeved shirts, long pants, and wide brimmed hats. Don't smoke. Smoking makes your skin look older and contributes to wrinkles. Treat your skin gently. Daily cleansing and shaving can take a toll on your skin. To keep it gentle, limit bath time. Hot water and long showers or baths remove oils from your skin. Use warm rather than hot water. Avoid strong soaps. Strong soaps and detergents 
can strip oil from your skin. Instead, choose mild cleansers. Shave carefully. To protect and lubricate your skin, apply shaving cream, lotion or gel before shaving. Pat dry. After washing or bathing, gently pat or blot your skin dry with a towel so that some moisture remains on your skin. Moisturize dry skin. If your skin is dry, use a moisturizer that fits your skin type. For daily use, consider moisturizer that contains SPF. Hope you had a nice time. See you same time next week for another interesting episode. Bye for now. Well, Miss Esther have said it all. Be health wise. Until next week, same time, same station, I'll see you. Bye for now. <laughs>